What we have to look at now is the difference between specific energy and energy density. Which can release the most heat energy? A lump of coal? Or a couple of old boys digging what appears to be turf from the ground? This is a particular type of turf called peat and it is actually a very low grade fuel but we want to find out which one of these gives the most energy. Now let's look at specific energy first. The specific energy is the energy that can be obtained from a unit mass of fuel. In other words, how much energy is given for every kilogram that is burnt. And let's have some examples here. Coal gives 30 million joules for every kilogram that is burnt. Wood gives around 16, which is roughly half that, but it burns very quickly, so it releases heat but quickly. Peat burns somewhat slower and is able to release 15 million joules for every kilogram that is burnt. These are fairly low grade fuels. Diesel, gasoline and kerosene and natural gas for example are um, much better fuels. They give 40 to 50 million joules for every kilogram. And uranium is a nuclear fuel and it produces much more uh, energy per kilogram. So this is what specific energy is energy per kilogram. Now we have to discuss how the choice of fuel is influenced by its specific energy. A nuclear fuel has a, an extremely high specific energy, it gives out a lot of energy. Fossil fuels have a fairly high specific energy. Wood, peat and so on have low specific energies. Each kilogram gives us low amount of energy. And these boys uh, basically need to produce twice as much mass of peat to give the same uh, uh, energy from uh, as coal. So you need two kilograms roughly of peat to give the same energy as one kilogram of coal. Energy density. This is energy that can be obtained from the, the combustion of one unit volume of the fuel. So not one kilogram but one cubic meter. So it's measured in joules per cubic meter. Let's have a problem here. Coal, um, what is the energy released by one lump of coal if the energy released is 33 gigajoules per meter cubed? Um, this lump of coal, let's say it's 10 centimeters across. Now you have to be, decide not what one meter cube produces, but one volume which is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now, is it 33 gigajoules, 3.3 gigajoules, 330 megajoules, 33 megajoules, or 3.3 megajoules. You have to decide and figure out which one of those it's going to be. So, to summarize, specific energy is the energy released per kilogram. Energy density is the energy released per cubic meter.